Hey, John Cristani here, online marketer and tech entrepreneur. And I'm gonna be going over basic data analysis. I'll be talking about what data analysis is, why it's useful, and exactly how does it make you money. Now, I got started, my first job was doing marketing and data analysis was the main thing I did in my job. And I'm gonna be talking to you about how I've been able to take my data analysis skills and make millions of dollars. And if you are following my channel because you do affiliate marketing, understand that data analysis is one of the two core skills of affiliate marketing. Understanding how to analyze data is so quintessential for doing anything on the internet and doing anything on a large scale. So let's get into it. I have a lot of exciting examples to go over in this video of real data analysis case studies to help illustrate to you how everything works. So let's get into it. Let's get it. Hey class, we're gonna do data analysis 101 today. <laughs> but seriously, I'm gonna be talking about what it is, why it's useful, and how data analysis makes you money. So first off, what is data analysis? Data analysis is being able to look at the data from an experiment, from an ad test, from a business, and be able to say what is working, what is not working. Now in this example, we see two different versions of a web page. First off, can you notice what is different about this web page? This is a split test Wikipedia did. And what we'll see is, let's bring up red right here. The only difference is actually this button. Now most people would think that this won't have a very big effect. Okay, you, 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 the, changing the color of the button won't have a big effect on how the page works. But in fact, if we look at things, we see that there is a 20% difference in the effectiveness of both of these pages to get people clicking on this button, 20%. Now, to be able to collect this data, to be able to analyze this data, we can obviously tell that this is a winner, this version is a winner, and this version is not a winner. That is the most simplistic version of data analysis you can be. You have a split test, this is version A, this is version B, and you see that A doesn't work as good as B. That's data analysis. And furthermore, data analysis is hypothesizing. It's not just looking at the data and making decisions, okay? This is a decision. We're just gonna stop having blue buttons and we're gonna start having green buttons. But data analysis is also hypothesizing, why does this work better? Why does a green button work better than a blue button? Hmm, I don't know. I seriously don't know. But my guess is maybe this little arrow had something to do with it. So I would probably do another split test and I'd say, well, maybe we get rid of this arrow for the next version and we see if it still performs as good. Okay? Maybe the arrow did it, who knows? But that's data analysis looking at things and making decisions. But uh, John, why is this useful? Like, you know, button colors and like figuring out like ideas about why the button worked better. Like, why is that useful information to me? So the reason why this is useful information is actually because if you notice 20% more people signed up using this button to donate to Wikipedia, that means 20% more donations, okay? Wikipedia, just by changing the color of their button, received 20% more money. Now, if you could receive $100 or if you could receive $120 simply by changing a color on a button, imagine how many more gains you could do about changing the headline. Instead of saying discover Wikipedia, maybe there's a better way of phrasing that. Maybe there's better writing that can go on right here. Maybe there's a better interface up here. You stack these gains. First off, who would say no to 20% more money for the same cost? And the second off, you can do a lot more with all the different parts of this web page. So that's why data analysis is useful, is you're able to mathematically figure out what works best in marketing. You don't actually need any skills other than split testing all the elements on a page to figure out what's the best headline, what's the best color for a button, what's the best thing to write here, what's the best menu or symbol 
to use on your web page. If you just get good at testing and data analysis, you can figure things out very quickly about how to market. I was always good with math and I did a lot of data analysis. I did a number of statistics classes in college, frankly, because I failed statistics twice. I think I got lazy, but do, taking statistics three times really ingrained data analysis in my brain and it allowed me to get good at it. I mean, this isn't very complicated, right? It's just two numbers, but allowed me to think that way. And by being able to look at numbers and figure out what I needed to do advertising wise has allowed me to make a lot more money. Now we can summarize data analysis by this as well. Here's another way we can think about data analysis is most normal companies, when they start advertising, they lose money. For you starting out as affiliate marketers, or if you've been doing marketing for a while, most of your businesses, most of your first efforts will lose money. Most people don't make money on their first go around, right? You know, most people don't get laid with, you know, the first time they talk to a girl. So right here we see, you know, this is red. This means you're losing money. Most businesses start out that way. If you can't figure out what parts of your business people like or the product you're selling. If you never do analysis on what parts of the people or your messaging or your marketing or selling people like, and if you can't differentiate that from what parts of your business or your product or your selling or your marketing people don't like, then what will continue to happen is you will just continue to lose money year over year over year. And these would all be red until you end up going out of business, okay? Or until you start complaining and saying, nothing works. Works, busy, you can't start a business anymore, right? With data analysis, you can figure out what part of your marketing message works better. What do people respond to the most on a web page? What part of your sales pitch, if you're doing sales, do people like the most? What audiences interact with you the most? And you can start taking that loss of money into a game to where you start making real money. That's how you make money with it. And here's an example. Now, here's an example of two ads that were on Facebook. So one ad has pictures of dresses without people wearing them. And it says cute dress up to 70% off. Here's another ad that actually has individuals wearing their dresses. And it says cute outfit up to 50% off. Now, a normal company would just run these ads and just say, oh, here are two good ads. But a smart marketer who knows data analysis will look at these ads and they'll say, okay, this ad got a 2% conversion rate. Whereas maybe this ad got a 3% conversion rate. And a smart marketer would end up getting rid of the ad that didn't work and only work with the ad that did work right here and continually do that every single day until they created an ad that is better. Not, not as only the best ad for their business, but is the best ad in their industry and become more competitive. You can use data to become a better company to sell a better product to figure out what people want more. Now, another example is what I just showed you right here, which is the Wikipedia example where they were testing out two different buttons. Once again, you test out your ads first and optimize, get rid of the bad stuff and go with the good stuff. And you can do that with your web pages as well. And this is what I teach in my six week course called the super affiliate system. We have tons of successful students making their first sales online. Check it out. Hello. My name is Marno Silvestri and I just made my first commission online with Internet Jet Set. Hi everyone, it's Jake Groves. Today I want to talk about Internet Jet Set, which is John Cristani's um, affiliate marketing course. I actually got my first affiliate commission in the first two hours of doing the course, as he promised, purely because he makes you take action. Hello. I'm uh, calling uh, from Norway. Just want to thank you. Uh, just had my first sale. Uh, I actually didn't think it was possible, so <laughs> I'm pretty happy. Now, in my six week course, I teach them to optimize ads, to write better ads, and also to optimize their web pages and create better web pages so that really you just keep getting better. You keep improving your messaging, you keep improving your marketing until the point where 
you get profitable and you start making that serious money. So you see a 20% increase here and you keep doing this every week, you just become invincible. So that is data analysis. That's how you use data analysis to make money. That's why it's useful and it's basic concepts. It's basic math. You don't need to know algebra. You don't need to know calculus, trigonometry, geometry, any of that to do data analysis. What you simply need to know is what to test and what numbers to look at. Now, if you want more information on data analysis, I suggest you sign up for my training course. I don't go over data analysis much on YouTube, but if you'd like to learn more about affiliate marketing, you can check out one of my other videos where I talk about affiliate marketing and what are the best affiliate networks to join to start earning commissions from doing marketing for other companies online. I also suggest you subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos on marketing concepts. My goal is to be the number one marketing teacher in the world. But I'd also like to hear from you. Who are other teachers you listen to on YouTube? If you could leave me a comment below and let me know, are you listening to Bia Heza? Are you listening to, what's his name, like Andrew Jeek or Alex Becker or Kevin David or, you know, Project Life Mastery, Dan Locke, etc. Let me know in the comments below what other YouTubers you listen to to learn from. I'd be really interested in hearing that. Also, I suggest if you're interested, join one of our communities. I have a Discord chat channel. We have a Reddit subreddit. And then we also have a Facebook group. Again, I get five quintillion messages a day. I think that's a number. <laughs> so I can't respond to everybody. But if we create a community, if we help each other out, we can make more money and answer each other's questions together. So join those communities if you have other questions or if you're looking for mentorship or if you're looking to team up with people and do marketing, that's a great place to find others. Talk to you soon. See you in my other videos. And don't be a stranger. Leave a comment. Leave a question.